Hey guys, Jada King Hefner and the beautiful Kyle Frost here. And I just recently did a video on what I think are the top 11 BBWs that you can buy. And if you haven't seen that video, you can go check it out. But for the purposes of this video, if you do ever decide to get a BBW companion dog, be very very careful with your selection. I honestly think that BBW companion dogs are damn near the lifeblood of the companion dog industry. Because with those big butts and big breasts and just those wide hips, they really draw a lot of us in when we're looking on these companion dog websites. But you have to be very careful about your size and how big you are before you decide to purchase one of these ladies. I've told the story before. I have a beautiful girl in Saima, Renee Uzumaki, my WM lady, and she's weighing in at a whopping 98 pounds. For human women, that's nothing to pick up. I've dated human women weighing 160 pounds and they feel as light as a feather when I pick them up. But that's not the case in the companion dog world. 98 pounds is going to feel like 150 pounds. And guess what? It's going to feel even heavier than that because that 150 pounds will not be helping you carry her around it's going to be dead weight so make sure that you're taking into account your size your strength and all of those things before you decide to buy a companion dog it's better to go a little bit smaller than a little bit bigger if you think you're going to have some trouble so uh the girl that i have i'm happy i have her but when I first got her, I was questioning if I really messed up. Because going into the future, I'm thinking about, man, how much more can I really be picking this girl up? But I think everything is going to work out. But going forward, I don't think I'm adding another BBW. You know, I may add one uh, because I really love that Starbury girl. I would love to have a girl uh, just like her. Uh, but with the weight reduction. So that's pretty much the only way I'm going to get another BBW. But they are very enticing. And as I was doing that video on BBWs, I was hyping myself up. Because I'm like, man, I really love these ladies. But now that I know about the size, I can't necessarily get a lot of the ladies on that list. And uh, you need to be honest with yourself don't go too far make sure you choose a lady that you think you can handle once she gets home with you because it's nothing worse i assume than bringing a girl home and you realize you cannot even move her around you need a girl that you can move around so with all that said do not bite off more that you can chew in this dog game. Be careful when you get a BBW that is something you believe you can handle. And if you ever want a companion dog, you can check out the links in the description of this video.